Hello my friends and welcome back to the rabbit hole and welcome to my review of the Eccentry Hyaluronic Acid Airy Sunstick SPF 50 PA++++. By now I'm assuming most of you know the deal with this video series, if not I will link you the playlist. But in short, we're reviewing 6 sunscreens in 6 days, all kindly gifted by Stylevana. Today's sunscreen is one that I'm excited to try, but I don't know how it's going to go for me. I am not usually a person who uses these stick sunscreens, so much so that I tried really hard to look up reviews or uh, application videos. I looked up, you know, how to apply sunscreen stick and it was surprisingly difficult to find. But I am going to do my best to figure it out. My main concern with products like this is I just don't know if I feel completely confident that I'm really covering my skin fully with these. Most of what I was finding for how to apply a stick sunscreen like this was more about how to reapply it over makeup. So I think we will do that in today's video, but I'm also going to do my best to make sure I'm initially applying enough of the product. I think what I'm very simply trying to say is I don't quite feel like I have the same amount of control with the sunscreen stick as I do with a sunscreen that I can measure out on my fingers, right? Like I'm really getting all of my nose? I, I hope I am. I hope so. What I'll end up doing is I'll spread this all over my skin in as thick of a layer as feels right to me and then I'll tap it in with my fingers, especially around my eye area here. Well, actually, let's, we can probably do this. So while I don't entirely feel comfortable saying, oh, wear only a sunscreen stick all day long, you know, for two hours out in the sun, uh, I do see how it could have a place, especially if it does apply really nicely over makeup. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to kind of rub my finger across it and then make sure I'm tapping it all around my eye area. Uh, I'm treating this exactly the same way I treat my gua sha. That's not how to apply this. Hold on. I don't think you need to do that. Well, maybe you do. I will say that was a pretty quick application. No white cast because this is a chemical filter sunscreen with some of the old chemical filters and some of the new. So let's talk about some of the details with it. This retails for, according to the Stylevana website, $21.49. It is currently on sale for $15. And that is 0.77 ounces, 22 grams, so pretty small. It definitely is pretty small. Uh, but then again, I feel like I applied less of it, and that's not necessarily a good thing with sunscreens. So, as far as ingredients, given its name, yes, it is rich in hyaluronic acid. Eight different forms, in fact, so it's meant to be a more hydrating sunscreen option. And then we have... One, two, three, four, five different filters in here. We have homosalate, which appears in a lot of old school chemical filters. It's not a very strong filter, so you can't use it entirely on its own. It's basically a weak UVB filter. We have octanoxate, which is also an old school UVB filter. I do find that that one works A-OK -okay on my skin, and that tends to be true for a lot of people, even those sensitive to other chemical filters. We have octasalate, yet another older school UVB filter. And then for the new chemical filters, we have Juvenal A+, that UVA protective sunscreen filter, and Tinasorb S, which is a broad spectrum filter. The ingredients list is kind of surprisingly long, but also it looks okay overall. We have some niacinamide in here. We have some plant extracts. I do not see the word fragrance. Oh, let me smell it. Smells like sunscreen. I will say my skin is feeling a little bit warm at this point. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. It's not stinging or burning. It just feels a little warm. But we will, we will certainly check in through the day. The next time you see me, I will have makeup on and we will be reapplying this. You know what time it is. It is time to reapply. I've made myself quite a challenge here. So... I am wearing the LYS foundation today with a little bit of my Alginist green color corrector to better match it to my skin, which has a little tiny bit of green in it. This is supposed to be one of the strengths of these sunscreens, and I am seeing it. It looks like it's... Mm, 
It looks like it's generally keeping the makeup in place. Maybe it's moving a little bit. Oh no, my sunscreen stick now has hair and blush in it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this, y'all. But I guess this is a, a good test to do here. We're finding out if, uh, if you can reapply this without a mirror, right? Right? I mean, maybe it's working. I don't know. Is, am I smearing my makeup everywhere? Only you know. I currently don't. <laughs> I think it's moving the makeup around a little bit, but honestly, not too badly. Not too badly. I will say my eyes are bothering me a little bit. I don't know if you can see it on camera, especially since they've been red this whole week, since what is sleep? Yeah, I mean, honestly, this isn't going terribly, I guess. All right, so I do feel like my skin is a little bit stickier now. I don't have that uh, freshly powdered feel anymore, but I got to admit it, it's not bad. That's not bad. All right, let's do these final thoughts. So the first thing I want to say here is I am not exactly a thousand percent comfortable with just recommending you a stick sunscreen on its own. I did do a lot of further digging and it seems a lot of dermatologists do recommend sunscreen sticks for the reason that it's easy to apply, easier to apply an even layer with a stick as opposed to a spray that you spray on your face or a powder. But according to the American Academy of Dermatology Association, you need four passes in each section. Three. What I'm trying to say here is I can see how this could work for some people. I can especially see how it could be something that is nice to have as a touch-up, especially with the unique shape of this stick. It is nice for right around the eyes, under the brows, and nice to not have to touch it for certain situations. You know, maybe if someone is hiking and you don't have access to a sink to wash your hands, maybe something like this is perfect. So I, I don't... I don't feel a thousand percent comfortable with it, but I also don't want to overlook people who have different situations that may require the use of a sunscreen stick. But let's get into the final ranking. We're gonna skip price, which is probably not a good sign, but we're gonna come back to it. Ingredients, I'm gonna give this four stars. I actually really want to give it five stars because I don't see fragrance in the ingredients list. I see only beneficial ingredients. I'm not going to judge chemical filters as inherently bad. So I want to give it five stars, but my concern is I don't know how much these two separate ingredients lists match up. Inky Decoder also does have these ingredients lists and they seem to be more accurate, but I don't have the same ingredients list on this box. No idea why. So we're just going to go with four stars on that. I think for smell, I'm going to give it a four out of five stars as well. It's fine. It's got a little bit of a sunscreen smell to it, but not bad. For application, I'm absolutely going to give it a five stars. I do think it was very easy to apply. It was even easy to reapply over makeup, although it did make me look a bit more greasy. White cast, five out of five. There's not a white cast with this. This is not a mineral sunscreen, so there shouldn't be a white cast. For wear, I'm going to give it a four stars because it is kind of a little bit greasy, but it's not bad. Removal is a solid five stars. Coming back to price, I'm going to give it two stars. According to the Stylevana website, this retails for $31.30 for 22 grams. That breaks down to $40 an ounce. Look, here's the thing, you are likely, in my head at least, under applying a sunscreen stick, and I even saw, oh, my fellow skincare enthusiast, the Amazon reviews, there's a person who said, a little goes a long way. I know, I know, settle down, settle down. So I guess if you're under applying it, it could last you longer, but is that really how we should judge sunscreen, or should it just be judged flatly against the price per ounce? It is on sale on the Stylevana website. It's $21.49, but that is still very expensive. This is not even a full ounce of sunscreen. So ultimately, yeah, I got to give it a two out of five stars on price. That does still come out to a B rating for this sunscreen. And again, again, I do think it really could have a place. In fact, I'm going to tell you before we even end this video, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in my bag right now. In my little bag, I have a little bag for when I'm just, you know, not going to be out that long and then I have the giant bag for longer days. You, 
y'all, y'all understand. And I've absolutely had times where I've only had my little bag, I've been out longer than I expected, and I wasn't able to reapply sunscreen at all because I didn't have it with me. That's what I think this is ideal for. Now I do have an emergency backup system. Now if I'm somewhere and I'm stuck out there, I don't have to wear nothing. So in our grand ranking, it's gonna come in the number three spot and tomorrow's sunscreen, I'm really excited for. This is the Can Make Mermaid Skin Gel UV. This is actually a Japanese sunscreen that we are going to try tomorrow. So. I will see you all then. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.